this is a very daring role to take on. Was this something that you were like, I want to go for this? Or did you have any reservations about it? I didn't have a reservation whatsoever. I think um, I was looking for this kind of challenge. It, it's, I mean, playing somebody that's really existed, that had a voice, that was trying to find her voice, finally did kind of um, speak out about something that's really important. I needed this challenge. I needed to completely um, disappear into a role. And I mean, this was hard, but, but that kind of, that didn't make, I mean, that made it even more obvious to me that that's what I should be doing. And in the film, you share some scenes where you show what Linda was subjected to, which are pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, how did you approach those? I, uh, I was a little nervous. Um, because being manhandled is is not something that we're used to right. used to at all, and uh, and because it was it, it, it really happened, it, it was really a, a, an account, it's something that she that we were just depicting from her from her book. With Peter, you shared a bunch of scenes too, and was that difficult to prepare together, or was it? No, we were kind of on the same page about things. Mm -hmm. You know, we just we just go for it. Uh, I trusted him; he trusted me, and. You were busy, you were you had Les Mis, the musical, and then you did this film and then Seth MacFarlane. I actually did this oh. and then Les Mis. And then Les Mis. Well Thank God. Way, lots of <laughs> so, I went from like Linda to Cosette. Wow. An eighteen year old virgin, so lots going on there. Yeah. But so what's one thing that ties all of those films together, or, like helped you uh, what's what ties them all together, it, it makes it makes them, um, is the fact that they're so completely different from the other. They're so diverse. Um, mm -hmm. Plus, I haven't done a comedy in 10 years. Oh, God. <laughs> well, and then lastly, you said that this film was the riskiest thing in Hollywood right now, I heard. Yeah. I think in L. So, do you, is there anyone you go to for advice where you're, you're like, I know they'll steer me in the right direction, or do you just know um, that? You know, I always think, this is really weird, I haven't talked to her in a while, but I always think of Jean Triplehorn as really good at, at Advice worthy, and um, I mean Anne Hathaway has some good advice about about choosing the right role and, and why you do certain things because um, she's had a great career. Right. Uh, and and then of course my my agent slash slash manager she, you know it's we we do this together so I I definitely think that um we want the same things for my career so right that's basically what I go to. Great. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.